What's up guys, Kent here with Corsby Gaming, playing Raid Shadow Legends again today. We're doing a shard opening video again. We got a 2x on ancient shards, so I'll be opening up all 60 of my ancient shards. Before we do that though, I did complete the fusion, so I'm gonna go ahead and complete that and get Mother Sibley. Not that she's an amazing champ by any means, but it wasn't too difficult for me to get her, so I decided to go ahead and do it. Bam, there we go. All right, we're gonna jump over and get these shards going. So I got 160, my odds for getting a legendary, 160 for one, it's 80%. For two, it's 48%. For three, it is 22%. And for four or more, it is going to be 8%. So we're hoping for two. That's my goal. Let's go ahead and do this. Nothing special there. So there's a few new epics that I would like. Oh, wrap the bat. Oh yes, Bad El Kazar. Bam, that is a new one for me. And he's a good one. Oh my gosh. So. This guy is really good. His A1 is attacks all enemy, heals this champion and all allies by 20% of the damage inflicted. So it's basically like a built-in lifesteal set. So this guy is really good at helping keep your team alive. And then his A2 uh, removes all debuffs from all allies, places two 15% continuous heal buffs on all allies for two turns, places two 5% poison debuffs on all allies for two turns. So this guy is being used a lot for the new stage 25 dungeons since he's got the poisons and the heals. He can help keep your team alive and help destroy the enemy with those poisons. And then his passive all allies inflict 20 percent more damage against targets under poison debuffs so this guy is also used in teams that nuke the champion down just because he puts the poisons up and then like a cold heart comes in and smacks and she does that much more damage because she the guy's got the poisons from this passive and then he does have a really good aura as well increased ally crit rate in all battles by 25 percent so if you're using this guy in dungeons, you're able to build all your champions 25% less crit rate. And this guy fills that so that there are 100. So it's awesome passive as well. It's more beneficial early on in the game, but it's still really good. Man, what a big pull. Let's keep it going. Not much there. So there is a champion chase tournament. So the more epics. Oh, another legendary. Oh, Molly Tanker. That's another new one. Bam. Let's go. So she's still really good. She's not like quite as amazing as Battle, but she is definitely good and usable in the high ends of the arena. So her A1 attacks one enemy. Damage increases by 50% if the target is under HP burn. And then her A2 places a Provoke debuff on all enemies for one turn, has a 50% chance of placing Provoke debuff for two turns instead. A two turn Provoke is just a game changer. That definitely can wreck people. Places a 30% reflect damage buff on this champion for two turns, which that's pretty dang good too. And then we have her A3 revives an ally with 50% HP and fills their turn meter by 50%, places a block damage buff on that ally for one turn. Really good revive. Um, the block damage and the filling the turn meter are both nice little additions to that. And then her passive, this is a really crazy passive. Fills the turn meter of all allies by 15% when this champion is hit. Fills the turn meters of all allies by 25% when this champion is hit by a boss. So if you're using this girl in the arena and you are got like a go second team, if she's getting hit, your teammates are going that much faster and can potentially pass other enemies that have gotten speed boosted. So she's, she's good. All right, we're gonna keep it rolling. Man, too early. I like it. To 
Rocky the Frog. Got one of him already maxed out for the uh, faction war whenever that comes out. Oh, I think that Cloud Beast Feeder is a new one for me. Legendaries right off the bat. That was a good start. Come on, maybe one more, one more. Ooh, yikes. All rares. Come on, one more, one more. Oh, for Salus Grave Dirt. That's another new one. I'm pretty sure he kind of stinks, though. I haven't looked at his kit too closely, but I've heard that he's not very good. Hey, there's a Royal Guard. Alrighty. Gonna have to make some more space. Alrighty, we got enough space, and we got 20 shards left, so two more pulls. Let's make it count. Hmm. Not much there, last one. Ow, not so much. Alrighty, so a Bad Alcazar and a Molly Tankard from 160 Ancient Shards. I will take it, that is an excellent haul for me. Definitely two champions that I really liked getting because the one, they're new, but also they're really good. Um, so yeah, that is going to wrap up this Ancient Shard opening video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel, please take a quick sec, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.